Asian Martian Money signing in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Codography Team. Today we are working on our 2D platform with C++ and the SFML library. So this is the third part to this 2D platformer with C++ tutorial series. So if you guys missed any parts, be sure to check those out before carrying on with this tutorial. But if you guys are all up to date, carry on and let's head on over to where we have our 2D platformer saved. So basically open up your project file, ignore the C++ source files and stuff, to be sure to open the code blocks project file. So last tutorial, all we really covered was defining some variables, we set some booleans, and we cleaned up the code, because you remember those sf colon colons ugh, was a real nightmare to work with, nasty headache. So we cleaned that crap up, and this tutorial, we're going to be working on the player class. Let's start the official coding timer with A for Canadian, enter, and that's going to start our timer. And the reason I have this timer here is because if I didn't, I would be rambling off for hours on end, and I'd be like, hey, that was hours gone by? Pfft, I was having a blast coding, didn't even notice that. So that basically times all my videos, so it's not too long for myself either. So to declare a class, just basically give yourself a little space above the main function, and be sure it's not inside the main function. And... Then just to, to declare a class, just type class and then the name of your class. So we're going to name ours here player class. And we could just, if it were a void function, we would just call it player. But since it is a class and we're going to be working with object-oriented programming, we're going to want to call it player class so we can keep straight what's a class and what's an object. So we're not going to require any parameters for this class yet. So then we're, in, we're going to open up some parentheses. And you guys are probably going to see, hey, what's this little colon, semicolon I'm doing here? And the reason that semicolon is there is because it's a class. And for whatever reason, a class at the end of it requires a semicolon. I mean, the main do main like functions don't. Any return integer type functions don't. Any kind of, but for whatever reason, a class does require. Don't know why, but I, it's just part of the C++ standard syntax. So now we're going to do something called setting the reference type. So what that basically means is who is going to be referencing this class. Well, anybody in our code is going to be allowed to, I just press insert, whoops. So anybody in our code is going to be allowed to access our class here. So to do that, just basically type pub, that's pun lick, pub lick. Add a semicolon with a little tongue sticking out a little guy, because that looks, oh, it looks like a little guy with his tongue sticking out. No, don't include the P, because otherwise you'll get a... Uh, big error and so basically just type pi public and then a colon and that was basically ugh. code blocks why do you do that to me code blocks is just i one thing i'm annoyed about with code blocks why you press enter and then it switches public over here for some people i'm i'm sure some people like that but i prefer to have public here indented as well so then anyways after that new line and now we're going to do something called creating a constructor so what a constructor is is basically as soon as the class is run and called, it's going to run it automatically without you even giving it the go-ahead, which is great. It's a great spot to put, like, say, and you have initial values like the player x velocity and stuff like that. It's a great little spot to put anything there that needs to be initially declared, anything to do with the player class. So to do that, all you have to do is just type the name of the class one more time, class, and open a set of of curly braces give yourself a little space to work and you have just created yourself a constructor so now we're going to see how the constructor works the second here and we're going to type c out to print something out on the screen open a set of strings and then we're just going to type um whatever we want good enough good to go then we're going to open uh, there we go more or less than signs or greater than signs i forgot what they are and we're going to end the line with end out and a semicolon. So now that we've got our player class here loaded up, now we're going to actually call it. So to call it, go head on over to the main function and type the, the name of your class. So ours is player class. And then type the name of your object. So player class is calling the player class that defines everything. And then the object af the, after the space is going to be... The variable of the player of the player class so this way you can have multiple player classes all running at the same time so we're going to call this player object that's object object 
object, we do want to spell things a little bit related to what they are, so that this way we're not going to forget what is actually spelled which way. So, and just doing that alone is automatically going to run C out. So, let's give it a quick test. So, Cobox is telling me that we have an error here that wasn't expecting the curly brace. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do need some parentheses here. And then we should go. What are we, what are we talking about here? Oh, that's right. Um, since we are printing out on the screen, I wasn't really planning on that. We're going to have to include the IO stream library. So, to do that, just type include with a hashtag, of course. And then IO stream. C out and end line are part of the standard library, so we're going to have to type using namespace STD. Stands for standard library. There. Now end that with a semicolon, compile and run, and we will see what we have got here. Ah! Alright, so that's what a constructor is. And it appears we're out of time here because the countdown timer just ran out and just disappeared. We've got our platformer here. We've created the player class. Not doing too much here, but it's a good chunk of tutorial. Good enough, good amount to soak into your mind. So if you guys have any questions or comments about C++ and the SFML graphics library, leave that, that down in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if we guys help you out and you guys enjoy what we do, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you next Wednesday or whenever news breaks. Marshall Marty out.